Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And today we're going to be talking about the prospect of Carey Price going to the Seattle Kraken and why he may have uh, took away his no-movement clause to be able to do so. Okay? First of all, we're going to look at whether he's going to the Seattle Kraken, whether the Seattle Kraken are going to pick them. And I'm part of the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. Do you like all sports or any of the four major sports, any of the teams in the four major sports? Because Steel Flyers All Sports Network does all sports, all teams like this, podcasters, uh, YouTubers, writers for all sports. We're building, growing. By the way, if you are a writer or a content creator and you are interested in getting paid a little bit to do this sort of thing, let us know in the comment section and I'll get you hooked up on who you need to talk to. Okay, the NHL Pearls of Wisdom show also I do, I'm going to be on tonight from 7.30 to 9.30 Eastern. I do it five days a week, tonight being Tuesday night. Uh, I do it five days a week, um, Mondays 3.30 to 5.30 also Wednesday and Friday, and Tuesday and Thursday in the evening from 7.30 to 9.30. Anyways, let's get into it. Carey Price, he waves his no movement clause. Is he going to Seattle? First, let's look at the reason why he would go to Seattle. And maybe there's more than one reason. But why would Seattle pick Carey Price? Because he's Carey Price. That's that's it right there. He's a great goaltender. Unbelievable goaltender. Uh, has been up and down the last couple of years. Has had some injury issues for sure. Um, talking about injury issues again. And uh, that he may have to go for surgery or what have you. But the idea and the fervor about this really is the whole flurry situation with Vegas and how well he did in Vegas in his time there, getting helping them get to a uh, Stanley Cup final in their first year. Everybody's cheering for that to happen again. Seattle is going to go out and get all the best players that they can get, and they're going to go for it this year. Well, the odds are not very good of that. So let's look at the reasons why Carey Price won't be selected by the Seattle Kraken. Stay until the end. I have a little message from somebody very special uh, that gives me the ultimate, I don't think he's going to Seattle, but you can tell me in the comment section what you think. He makes $10.5 million a year for the next five years. Okay. Seattle Kraken hired a general manager named Ron Francis, who was the general manager of the Carolina Hurricanes for quite a few years. Ron Francis is a self-prescribed patient person. Self-described patient person. In Carolina, he was extremely patient. He believes in building through the draft. He believes in, does believe in building from the goaltender out, which I guess would be one reason why you might want to take Carey Price if you're building from the goaltender out. However, he does. He builds slow. Um, he's not a guy that's going to go out and grab your Boracheks and all of those guys that are available and try to get the best roster possible and then load up with free agents and try to win right now. One of the reasons why that's not going to be the case, it, yeah, it's sexy that Vegas is doing what they're doing. And believe me, I, I love Vegas. I love the team. I love their attitude. I love the personality of not just go for it now, but excitement and entertainment and everything that they do. I think it's fantastic for hockey uh, and all of that. However, that team is more than likely going through one hell of a rebuild in about four or five years. They're getting older and all of that. And Ron Francis is wouldn't have been selected by Seattle, I don't believe, if they were going to try to go that direction. Um, the market in Seattle has a lot of Vancouver fans, a lot of hockey fans already. They're very close to Canada. They don't really need to be good right now. It's a little easier 
than in Vegas where you've got to draw fans in that really don't know the game all that well yet. Um, it's a lot easier for them to say, you know what, we're going to rebuild and they can be patient with the kids coming up and all of those sort of things like that and then build a dynasty that can be great for a long time. You can sell that there a lot better than you could in Vegas. So taking Carey Price would mean that his best years are probably going to be the next two years. He's going to be 35, 36, 37, right? He could be really good up there. Flurry was, but with Flurry didn't have the injury problems as Carey Price did. Um, so I don't think he's going to throw that much cap space on himself, especially when cap space is the greatest leverage that Ron Francis has. He can use the cap space to get more picks, more picks, more picks. Okay? So as good as Carey Price is, I don't think that he's they're going to take that 2.5 million cap space. Now there's another option I've heard uh, that I will listen to Sirius Radio all the time. And I want to bring this up too. The media is selling this like hardcore, the sensationalism of the possibility of of price going somewhere. I believe the uh, experts, as they, the, as they like to call, they're in Sportsnet, they're getting paid a lot of money. There's nothing wrong with calling them experts. I don't believe if you ask them individually, any one of them, you know, great hockey minds like that, really think that price is going to Seattle. However, the network wants you to believe it, and they're going to act like it's a possibility that it could happen. I do believe that that's what's happening there. Um, so I wanted to mention that. Now, another thing, I listen to Sirius Radio um, a lot on, in my car. I have Sirius Radio, and the NHL on Sirius Radio is really good. Highly recommend it. There was talk about possibly them taking him and then retaining two, 2.5 million or something like that and trading them somewhere else um problem with that is he has a no movement clause uh he waived his no movement clause to go to seattle now if you want to play the idea and the media is doing this quite a bit that he obviously must have did that because he's okay with going seattle that's kind of what how the media is spinning this i suppose if you want to do it that way that's fine but if you're okay to go in seattle why would he be okay with it because he's from Vancouver, so he's closer to his family and all of those sort of things like that. Decent argument, I suppose. Now, if you're going to flip them, first of all, is that the way you want to treat a Hall of Famer goaltender? You bring him in? You Is that the message you want to send to your room and the p future free agents that you're bringing in? That we're just going to take you and use you like trash and throw you out somewhere else for a couple picks? Secondly, how much are you going to get for him when he's got a no movement clause? He has to okay anywhere. And the reason why he came to you is could be closer to home. So it limits your ability to trade him anywhere. Vancouver, maybe Edmonton, maybe Calgary. And I'm, you know, just spitballing some teams. Besides that, he's probably not going to wave. And he's going to be very upset you did to him what you did. So if you keep him, now you have an upset carry price. I I just don't see that happening either. Um, so those are basically really big reasons why I don't think Ron Francis is going to pick Carey Price. Um, I can't see them flipping him. I can't see them retaining salary like that. Um, now, there, the what is talked about here, and the reason why it all happened apparently, okay, I can't find anything on written down on this but again it's serious radio as well was that they were going to expose Allen he was talking to Ron Francis Bergevin that is and they and apparently Francis asked for was saying if you don't want me to take Allen my guy is Allen it's a first and a third first and a third Bergevin got mad and said screw you we're gonna we'll give you we're gonna put Carey Price out there because we want to protect Allen. That is the play that Bergevin apparently is doing here. Now, 
um, on the same syndication, but a different person. I believe it was uh, uh, Retta. Is that his name, Retta? Uh, I can't remember. Ripa. I think it's Ripa. He talked about how there was a deal in place. It looks like there's a deal in place for Montreal to trade Druan a second and Romanoff to Seattle for them to select Druan. So basically it's trading Romanoff in a second for them to select Druan. Druan may play next year. They don't know. It's been very difficult in Montreal. It's not working out. It gives them a heck of a lot of cap space. And that makes sense. But couldn't you have just done that instead of, like, they, so this means that the offer for Duran was on the table and they said, no, we're taking Allen anyways. Right? It's a weird concept here. Uh, but either way, they're not taking Carey Price. I could see them making that deal. It's fair. It's fair for Seattle. They get a second, a young, a good young goaltender or defenseman with a fair bit of upside in Romanoff. And that it looks like Montreal is going to have difficult finding ice time for because they like to play their veterans so much. So it works out for everybody. Um, I think it's a little steep to get rid of Drew in, but it would totally depend on who they're able to get with that cap space, which is so valuable right now. And that tells you how valuable it is. All right. My third reason, I think is it my third or my fourth now, <laughs> that Carey Price is not going to be going to the Seattle Kraken. There's a person, there's an individual that has, that came out with an Instagram posting that tells me personally everything I need to know. And again, tell me in the comment section what you think about all of this stuff that I just said. But let's look at this. Angela Price. Look at that cute little kid. Two, is that, is that two kids? Yeah, that's two kids. There are two girls in the background. Big thumbs up. Instagram post. What does the Instagram post say? Just check my DMs. Don't worry, guys. Things will make more sense soon. And that's not, a, it's, that's not it. Underneath. At the end of the day, Carey Price is the Canadian's prized possession. You would think that the Habs know that they're what they're doing and plan this out to their advantage. Only time will tell. Angela Price, Instagram. I'm pretty sure she knows <laughs> what's going on, and uh, she's making she's putting everybody at ease. Do you know how bad it would be for the Montreal Canadiens if they did this deal? Carey Price did this because he knew it was going to protect Allen. Because he knew there was no way he was going to Seattle. No way at all. This tells me for sure there's no way at all. Angela Price is not going to post that in, on Instagram if there's even a hint of a chance he's ever going to Seattle. That's my full 42. Please hit the subscribe and the bell. I'll send you a My NHL Pearls Wizard Necklace right to your door and to all the media out there, people. Not the media people, not the guys, but the channels, the sports nets and all that, sensationalizing this. Perlo's house is spanking for you. We're going to go ahead and get in the uh, jet o' frolic and come grab y'all and you're all going to go to Perlo's house of spanking. Trust me, it makes you feel better on your insides. It's that off your conscience. Have a great day. Okay, bye.